Hey guys, Seattle Ring Hunter here. We're finally with Jocelyn and Austin, the gentleman that lost his ring. Why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about what you guys were actually doing or what you were doing out there at uh, Camp Meridian High School that day. And... Uh, yeah, so we had uh, West Central Districts that day and uh, it was to qualify to go to state. And during warmups, I was just getting loose, took one big throw and uh, felt my ring fly off and uh, heard it hit the, the fence. And yeah, but so... I lost it. So this was a track meet, yep. and it was a pretty large one from yep. the traffic that was leaving. I was there at 8 <laughs> yeah. o'clock that night after, I mean, it was lines and lines of traffic. Yeah, was so was it packed. multiple uh, high schools within the local area? Oh, yeah. It was a... Uh, uh, like a regional? Maybe? It was a uh, district, so... District, okay. Like pretty much in like, um, we had like four or five different leagues there. Oh, wow. With uh, maybe like six or seven teams in there, so yeah, it was pretty packed. Yeah, okay, and yeah. so the, you were doing shot put. Yep. And you were winding, uh, you actually did your shot put throw, or do you call it a launch or a throw? Yeah, just a throw. Yeah, yep. so you had all, all that energy in there. Yeah. And uh, a buddy of mine from my work, he was like standing behind you, I learned. Yeah. And he actually witnessed it as well, and I guess, you know, it just flew off your finger yep. towards the follow through when your hands started coming down. <laughs> Hey guys, this is the Seattle Ring Hunter and I'm actually at Kent Meridian High School just a little ways from my residence. I was actually on a big, huge in-house search today and uh, that was a success. If you haven't seen that video yet, go ahead and look for that. But in the middle of that recovery, I got a call from a coworker and we don't normally chat outside of work and I was like, what's this guy calling me for? I was like, hey man, he's like, Morgan, we need you. And I'm like, What's going on? Did you lose a wedding ring or something? And he's like, no, but my buddy did. Over here at Camp Meridian High School, he's actually in the track and field doing shot put. And my buddy watched his wedding ring fly right off his finger into the chain link fence. So we got a pin on it. It's dark out here. And we're going to make an attempt. So we know the location. We don't know what side of the fence it's on. We're going to try to make an attempt. Hopefully we can get it. Let's see if we can find this, pull this man's uh, wedding band. Um, out of the bushes and get it back to him. All right, come along for the search. We've got the shot put, we've got one shot put. You guys can see this, here's where the guy was. And I'm sure he wound up with all he had. And my buddy watched the ring go somewhere down over in here. On the other side of this fence, there's a wedding ring, potentially, and we need to find it. All right, let's get to work. All right, guys, now you can actually see what's going on out here in the daylight. During the last track meet, shot putter was here, and I believe with his follow through, most likely, we're still trying to get confirmation if he threw the shot put with his right hand. His left hand potentially could have had the ring on it, and he did hear it back here. And uh, my buddy actually saw it out of the corner of his eye, witnessed it shooting off this way, somewhere in this area here. So it sailed out through here. It's black on the outside, rose gold on the inside of the band with a little bit of rose gold through the middle equator of the ring, kind of a little cut through there. And it's black, so let's go ahead and get over here and see if we can't get this thing located before. Remember guys, we're talking to shot put. Our buddy's over here throwing shot put. His follow through, we're still waiting to find out if the ring was on his left finger or his right hand, right hand or left hand, but the follow through, and they're indicating somewhere in this range of the fence. So if it were to come this way, we're thinking, and it, they heard it hit the fence, so it could have, shoot, could be anywhere. Ooh. So that's what we're up against. Up against. Let's 
Got here, got a fork, dude. Get ready to eat dinner, boys and girls. We got a fork. Oh, this is too big, way too big for a ring. Big aluminum. What the hell is that? Big piece of iron, something. Holy crap. We got a big strong aluminum can or the wing. Let's see. That's a big signal. Yep, aluminum can, just like I thought. The ring's large too, so it's going to be on the top here. It's going to be pretty obvious. We're hoping. I mean, it should be. Hitting that fence isn't going to cause it to split. Of aluminum can. No, yeah. See, I mean, look, we're we're pulling targets. No question. If this ring is in here, we're gonna see it. Clear some of this away from the fence. Oh my god. Whoa! Woohoo! Look at that guys. Oh my gosh. Dang, that's a huge ring. That is a large ring. Alrighty guys, we found it. It's right there. Oh my goodness. They thought it hit somewhere over there. It may have bounced over here. It could have come off this way more. It could have been a whole section off. Came through the fence and right there and that is a huge ring. Woo! As chain link fences these guys have seen already and uh we didn't know where the heck that thing went but it's a pretty large ring and everything so you guys are getting together and starting a new life and everything so that's you know congratulations i hope everything works out well and so anyway um without further ado i guess let me just hand this to you real carefully that's gotta be it oh, yep. Eventually we found it, so I'm glad and happy that you got it back there. And so uh, 
Yep, fits pretty good. You gotta be careful now. So I, gotta, I don't have to tell you. I think you learned that. You know, whenever you're doing any type of activity in the snow or the water, uh, put it up in a good place. You got any any other thoughts you want to share with everyone? Or um, no, just thank you. For okay. Thank you. Well, cool, man. Well, I appreciate you sharing your story, and I'm glad we got it back for you. Alrighty, guys. You know the drill. If you've lost anything in Washington State, give me a call at 206-618-8194. Another ring recovered and not left out there. And uh, theringfinders.com. Over 500 recovery specialists across the country. Find someone in your local area to help assist you in your lost item recovery needs. All right. Till the next time. Stay safe and be safe. Cheers. Until the next time. Bye bye. <laughs> if you've lost your ring or a special item of value. Please get in touch with me at the seattleringhunter.com as soon as possible so I can arrange to do a search for you.